Hey, happy Friday, Geminis. How is everyone doing? I hope everybody's excited for the weekend. It's uh, it's time to nurture oneself and get out there or, or just get a bottle of wine or a six-pack and stay in the house and do you. All right, do what makes you happy. Um, leave the work week behind and completely and totally enjoy yourself. If you don't have any funds, you know, uh, hang in the house, just take bubble baths, uh, watch the fight, or if there is a fight, I don't know, do whatever makes you happy. All right, let's get started. All right. Hmm. All right, so it looks like there was some kind of problem here regarding a child or children. It made somebody feel stuck for a hot minute. All right, this was tough. It was heartbreaking, but then you figured out, you got this mental clarity and you figured out a way to uh, remedy the situation. And um, even though this was getting in the way of your happiness, it looks like this has been rectified. And everything is okie dokie at this point. All right, I'm picking up on a feminine and a positive, uh, a positive, a feminine and a uh, masculine. All right, there's been some confusion and some defensiveness between the two of you, but I do see this Ace of Pentacles at the end. So the meaning of this card is, you know, in this particular layout that you're going to work things out. Things are going to work out for both of you. Um, there's going to be a lot of happiness. Um, and, you know, this is also uh, wealth and prosperity coming in for you. Okay, so you can't beat that. Let's go further. I'm seeing the lover's card here. Okay, and um, I'm seeing this Knight of Swords who is very romantic coming in quick. This is a uh, sweep you off your feet type of card. And I'm seeing that this is going to make somebody feel stuck. Okay, uh, when this happens for some reason, um, because you're used to being alone. You are very, um, you know, you have your own money you're you're used to doing your own thing you're very secure and um yeah this is going to throw you off when this person comes in because you're going to be like you're going to really like this person okay um you're going to be really excited all right let's see what else So I'm picking up on a feminine who's working really hard, like trying to uh, attract this partner, it looks like, okay? Um, and this person hasn't come around yet. This is kind of affecting your self-esteem a little bit because you're, you're used to getting everything you want. Um, and you've been spending some time by yourself, putting a lot of thought into this, maybe overthinking it, okay? Too much thought about this. Um, remember you are the star. All right. And I'm seeing the world at your feet, dead center on one side. I'm seeing celebration on the other side. I'm seeing freedom. Um, it looks like, um, this mature masculine over here might be part of your cycle who is coming in. This is the emperor. When the emperor speaks, people listen. This is a worldly successful masculine who, um, you know, is just, um, has a lot, he's very interesting, has a lot of interesting things to say. People like to listen to the emperor when he speaks. All right. And here I have an empath, uh, in the center, somebody who's very sensitive to the energy right now. It looks like you're making some kind of decision. There's something that you want to accomplish, but you're feeling somewhat defensive and it looks like something financial and you are going to get your justice on this. Okay. Um, yeah, you're just making a decision on something right now regarding your finances. 
All right. And here we have somebody needs to get in a state of gratefulness. Okay. Um, I'm seeing this. Something to do with a commitment has got you feeling burdened um, and, you know, sad and feeling juggled, uh, something sneaky. All right. So it looks like somebody tried to do something to you or get over on you or did something because, yeah, you're feeling juggled, sad, and it's making you feel this like you have this weight on your shoulders. This is like a lot of sneaky. All right. To make you feel this way. All right. Now, this is something or someone you're committed to um, here in the center. This card's very important. OK, you're looking at these three cups that have spilled over and feeling sad. You're feeling a loss, um, but you're not noticing the two full cups behind you. This is the card of gratefulness. OK, you cannot be grateful and unhappy at the same time. So get yourself in a state of gratefulness when you wake up and when you go to sleep, say it out loud, tell yourself what you're grateful for, tell spirit what you're grateful for. Okay. And you know, it can be the smallest of things. Just remember guys, there's people that are living in their cars right now. They don't have what you have. Okay. There's people that as little money as you have, there's people that have no money. All right. So, so there's always someone that's worse off than you always remember that. Okay. And here I'm seeing some kind of healing and balancing because, um, you're not, you're not expecting this to happen. This is going to happen. This is like a wish fulfillment coming to fruition, something you've wanted. All right. That you're totally not expecting though is coming for you. All right. And it's going to just show up and it's going to balance things out. It's going to bring some healing in. And this is your wish fulfillment coming to fruition. So this is amazing in itself. This is like a, a wish come true or however you want to say it. Um, yeah, something really good is getting ready to happen for you. All right. And I'm seeing the happiness here. A lot of happiness. I'm seeing strength around this page of wands. This is a masculine who's generally 20 to 35 years old. All right. It looks like you're moving away. You're moving away from uh, possibly like your family or a family member. And this doesn't have to be a physical thing. This could be, you know, someone in your family who's aggravating the crap out of you and you're distancing yourself, okay? And then the happiness that this was getting in the way of is going to um, be able to flow for you, okay? All right, Gemini, that's the reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated and you guys have a beautiful day. Take care.